Hey everybody, Rick here, Arizona High Desert Homestead, and this is the next part on installing my own septic system off grid. Uh, the gravel's coming. I actually got a good price on it. Hopefully, after it's delivered, they'll still want to deliver. We'll see. But uh, a lot of things are moving along all of a sudden at once. So, I'll hop on the tractor here. That rock should be here soon, and we'll get busy. Look at that beautiful stuff. With those extensions on the on the bed. Yeah, that's easily 20 yards. Easily. I miss that sound. I used to drive dump truck a lot. Alright, he's gonna go get a load too.
All right, y'all saw the rock uh, come in, and uh, this is the next day actually now, and I've already started uh, putting some rock in. And then uh, my wife was going to Sholo, it's two hours away, and uh, she'd forgotten her phone, or not phone, her, uh, her purse. <laughs> so I had to drive down and meet her so she wouldn't have to come back as far. But, I got that line down in there. Hopefully that's enough rock. If not, I'll get more because I really like this rock. It is cinders. That is the one inch. They call it the one inch dirty. And um, it's heavy enough. I really think I want to have it laid out all around here. So I got these for the inspection ports. It's corrugated. Uh, three poly. I don't think it actually has any holes in it. It's pretty solid, I think. Uh, kind of, yeah. It'll work out for the inspection ports really well. So I, I'm kind of appreciating how much they charge to install. It's a lot of work. I still think it's too much. Back in August, you know, I was quoted 8500 But back then you can get a septic tank like that for 90-some cents to the gallon. And now it's $2.50 a gallon. And the ABS pipe is way more. Everything is way more so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this, kind of doing it by myself. I, I got a, did a line level down in there for the depth of the rock. Working on this first trench, then I'll do the other trench. That middle trench is gonna be a bitch to get to. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, do what I can with the side of the bucket, you know, go alongside, but I don't wanna end up getting too close to the side with the tractor. I could always load it into the smaller side-by-side. -side. I don't see it. I think my son's got it on either side. And they got dump beds on both the side-by-sides. So if the wheelbase, actually the wheelbase is long enough, or wide enough, I mean, if I can straddle that. Yeah, I think I got like a 60-inch base on that. Yeah, it's had a light bulb go off, so. All right, let's do this. Okay, uh, this clip's going to wrap up this video. It's been going on a while. I got uh, the outside leech lines done. On the end of that one there, I got to finish raking that out. I think I got a little too much rock in there. I'm sure I did. You got to keep it all nice and level. And uh, I got a good start on this middle one. I haven't do it by hand. That sucks. That one's all done. Uh, there's just enough rock there. At the end, by that inspection port, I gotta rake that down. But there's enough, about perfect amount of rock in there. Um, and then I'm gonna get a string line for all three. Once I get that middle inspection port done and in place, then I'm gonna string line across about oh, 16 inches off the ground, cut them all off, cap them. I've got water in my uh, septic tank. Uh, that's how much I wanted to put in. And it's been holding it so far just fine. It's been six hours. I just gravity fed it from these totes. Um, I got that one baffle in on that. Everything else is glued now. Uh, I just got to put the inlet baffle on. I'll do that tomorrow. And then once, you know, in the morning everything's good and kosher with this. Then I've got sand and more sand down there. I'm going to start putting that in around the tank and then top it off with this rockier stuff but here's the catch all right you saw the rock being brought in i called today to get some more and guys like sure and i told him still 840 for two loads right and he said wait are you the one out there in uh the ranch i said yeah he goes no nah, we can't deliver out there he goes i got in trouble for my boat. all right i had the battery die on me there good thing i got a backup anyways they said you know you're the one out in the ranch there right I said, yeah, and they said, no, we can't deliver out there. It's too far. Um, we had a we had a busted pin on our truck. I didn't say what pin. But I'll tell you why they had a busted pin. Okay, I was a dump truck driver for years, CDL trainer and all that. Um, the delivery driver was a kid, young kid, 21. He said he just got a CDL in September, and that's awesome. I love seeing that. Um, after the first load that he brought in, uh, let's see, he left and then I stopped at the RV, which used to be down there, and uh, he had my coffee and all that. When I came out, because I had to go to town to pull some cash out of the bank to pay him for when he 
came back with the second load. Um, he was sitting there, and I'm like, oh, crap. Now I'm going to be stuck behind him. I'll have to get around him. Oh, no. He had to have been going 60, 65 miles an hour out of here because I was going 40, 45, and he just blew me away. So, and I looked at my son. I said, oh, I remember what it was like to be that age and not give a, a crap about equipment. <laughs> so, I didn't narc him out or anything, but... So anyways, I'm probably about eight yards short, and one of my viewers gave me a price on some rock. Hopefully he'll still be able to do it. It's, it is what it is. I need to finish it. Either that or I'd rent a trailer and do it myself. But uh, that's all I got to do, and I did order the uh, corrugated. Everybody's out. So hopefully that'll be in soon. Actually, I'm going to go check on tomorrow. I need, I need two rolls. Only me a little extra. I gotta put the inlet side. Uh, let's see, that's about it. I wanna wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Um, and tomorrow, I've, I have been extremely busy. I have done so much over the past week. Uh, tomorrow I'll try to do a true all-in-one update, homestead update video. Been very, very busy. And my son's uh, RV that he was staying in, that my dad's in here for a little while longer, is still down there. But we moved ours. And I'll show you. I mean, I probably showed a little bit in that last video, but show a little bit more of the setup. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm hoping to hear back about that rock so I can get this wrapped up and lay the pipe, and get the inspection. Nothing beats, nothing beats laying pipe. All right, everyone. Hey, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do. I got a lot more coming. A lot. And remember, there's always money in the banana stand. Oh, yeah. One shout out. Tamika, hope you're watching. I'm so excited for you. Future off gritter. I'm so excited for her. All right, everyone. Have a great night. And once again, happy Valentine's Day.